Well, hey guys and gals, or gals and guys, I don't know. I don't know who's watching this, but um, this is primarily for the uh, people over at the Creative Mentoring Forum. I thought I'd do a little tutorial on Photoshop. I thought I'd do a little stuff with layers and uh, layer masking. Um, just to get you guys familiarized with the basics of layer masking. Um, and first we're going to start off with two different images because it's just the best way to uh, illustrate the difference between the two layers. I'm just going to grab this one and uh, drag it into this other image. I'm grabbing the background right here and I'm dragging it in here and you can see it does that little highlight thing. So now we have this right in here and that's all fun, all hunky-dory. So uh, I'm hitting F to uh, maximize my screen right here. I take all of the uh, real estate that I can out of my screen. Um, now I can move it around. See, he's picking his nose. Um, but anyway, so here's the point. Basically, some people might say, okay, I need there to be, I only want his hand to show, right? So some people might maybe invert this, the selection by pressing Command Shift I and then maybe Command X and uh, cutting this out. Well, that's all right, and you know, I mean, it's okay, but we can look at that. But um, there's no way of getting this back unless we're doing the history brush, and I'm not going to start that. So I'm going to undo that. And it goes the same way with um, with erasing. Okay, so we don't want to be erasing everything until I can just get the hand or whatever. That would technically work, but it's a very destructive way and you don't want to do it. We want something that's editable where I can hide what I want to out of this image and show what I want to, right? So I'm going to click on the um, new layer mask icon down here and you get this one that's all white and you say, well, what did that do? It did nothing pretty much except for you have a new layer mask. Now, um, since it's all white, it's showing everything. Okay, it's white reveals everything and uh, black hides it. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to hit B for my brush. And um, so basically, I'm selecting this layer mask, not the image. You have to select this mask right here. And you can see that there's these little black like bracket things around it. But um, so now, I'm I have black selected, of course, and I'm going to set my opacity up to 100% from 50, and I'm going to just paint on here. Now, what's that doing? It's painting black onto this layer mask, not onto the image, not onto anything except for this mask. So it's hiding that. So black hides this, and I'm holding out Alt to um, show you just that mask. Okay, so as you can see, here's our black right here, and uh, here's our white. So now our uh, black is uh, is hiding all of this layer right here. I gotta get the phone one second. Okay, I'm back. The phone rang, and uh, yeah, the phone rang, so I had to go get it. Anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we're talking about, obviously we can see this is masking away, it's getting rid of the visibility of this image, and this is revealing it. So here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this, and I just want to delete it. Um, I'm going to make a selection, and basically what I'm going to do is grab my uh, magic, uh, it's not my magic wand, but it's a quick selection tool keyboard shortcut for that is W. I'm just going to select this. As you can see that's selected. And instead of doing the whole invert it and then cutting it and then the destructive thing, I'm going to just press this icon right here and boom. It already knows that I have this selected so I know, so it knows that he wants that. He wants that to be visible. I want it to be visible. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth between Photoshop and myself. but it knows that I want this little spot right here that I selected his hand to be visible so what does it do? it fills everything with black except for 
the spot that I selected. And if I wanted to go ahead and modify that, I could uh, grab my brush and maybe make it bigger or something like that. I could just paint in again. So the reason why we do this is because you can repaint. Okay, you can repaint that image back into it if you need to later. This comes extremely handy when you're doing um, when you save it as a PSD because you can go back, uh, you know, like a year later or whatever, and say, oh, you know what, I I, I should have, you know, painted out this little spot in, inside his knuckles or whatever, and uh, that's not really how I would do that. But um, so that just kind of shows you what you can do with these things. And uh, I'm just going to reset it, kind of get another one. So um, just to kind of show you guys, I guess that's about it. Um, except for, uh, we can also vary our opacity, okay? So let's say I wanted all of my background to be gone. I'm just pretending like that's a good selection right here. Let's say I want all this to be gone. Do, 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 do. So now the image is going to show like this. So now I just painted that. So now it's black on the sides, right? So it is invisible now. I made the visibility, turn the visibility off. But what if I want this, um, I want him to be like the opacity of maybe 50%, but I still want this ring to be 100%. Well, I'm going to press 5 on my keyboard and uh, or any of these any of these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 brings it to 40, 10, you know, all these if you just press the numbers. Um, anyway, so now I'm just going to kind of brush on here with 50%. Uh, this Let me just say this looks crappy and I know it. It's just for illustration. So now if I look at my layer mask, my 50% is right here, right here, and the gray, because it, it's in between white and black. So that makes sense. If I hit it again, it would be a darker shade. So that's how you can vary the opacity with that, just like that. So you can see this is revealing it completely. This is only halfway revealing it, and this is totally uh, masking it, totally hiding it. And uh, that's about it. Um, but I also want to say, I, I'm going to go into this more with the layer masks, but I don't want to make this too long. Um, I'm just going to show you with a layer mask. I'm going to explain what they are some other time. But if I wanted to turn a curves layer mask on this, and I said, okay, I only want my curves to be on um, the lake or whatever. Then I could grab my brush, I have black selected, and mask this out. If I want to go back to 100% opacity, press 0, I can mask this out. So what's this going to do? It's going to show only, it's only going to make the curves visible on the lake right here. Okay? So, just like this. I'm going to take that off. I, I, I'm pressing, I'm holding down Alt to see that, like I said. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about curves adjustment layer some other time, but now I can readjust this as I please, just like that. So, um, I believe that's about all there is that I want to cover in this, uh, this little tutorial thing. But uh, like I said, the, just the real important part is that you use these layer masks to hide it and if I wanted to uh, just say like we were talking about in the beginning if I wanted to make this like this actually I'd probably throw this out and make a new one and that's exactly what we had before except for I can always modify this I can always come in here and say oh, you know I want this to be there as well so I'm gonna Command delete and you know just like that. So it's all about using these layer masks. I would uh, encourage people to use these because they are uh, definitely be beneficial 
definitely when you're using textures and all sorts of stuff. And uh, if if this video, you know, if you guys like it, maybe I'll do more. I'll do stuff about blend modes and uh, maybe some adjustment layer stuff. But uh, if you guys learned nothing from this video, all I want you to know is that layer masks hide stuff when you paint black on them. They reveal it when you uh, when you paint white. Okay, so that's that's about it for this one. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, and I guess I'll see you uh, on the forum. Okay, bye. Oopsies. I stopped recording.